All right, so we have something fairly exciting here. Um, this is HK Models new 148 scale early production B17G kit. So I just picked this up yesterday from Merit International, which is the uh, US importer and I guess the distributor for HK Models, um, located here in Southern California. So this is fresh off the boat uh, from Asia and take a quick look around the box um some uh cad shots there kit number zero one f zero zero one couple of marking options that one and this one association with ak and large scale modeler even though this is not a large scale kit but yeah. All right. So I'm going to open the box and I think what we're going to do is we will go through the instructions and then the sprues, uh, look at the decals. Um, I haven't been in here yet. So yeah. Um, give me a moment to open the box and we'll be right back. As you open the box, this is what you're presented with. Um, you have fuselage half, fuselage half, uh, wings are bagged together, top and bottom halves. Same in this bag. Um, here we have a sprue of, I guess those are gear bays, maybe? Um, wheels. Um, some other uh, exhaust parts. Flaps, maybe? Um, miscellaneous landing gear. Um, engine cowling pieces you have to pardon me i really have no idea what these are those look like machine guns down there uh we'll go through these very quickly right now and then we'll open the bags and take a closer look at some things um let's see what else this is uh some interior bulkhead detail um that looks like uh some kind of a turret um instrument panel cowlings props Here is the top uh, of the fuselage. Um, here's some more interior details from the cockpit. Uh, looks like some bulkheads with, um, I guess those are actuators for the bomb bays maybe. Um, interior pieces, some uh, other miscellaneous bits. All this detail looks really sharp. Um, so I will get these out of the bags in a minute and we'll take a closer look, but here's just a brief overview of the sprues. So I'm guessing the fact that they molded these separately, these nose pieces, that would probably mean future versions of the B-17 coming soon. Um, these, I have no idea what they are, but they look nice and sharply molded. This is the uh, tail, I believe. Um, so I believe, as I was told by Frank Crenshaw, that this is different somehow on this version than the other later version. So I guess that version's coming soon. Um, clear parts. So there's the windscreen. We'll get this out in a minute and take a look at it. Um, some other, that looks like a ball turret piece. Here's some other turret pieces. All the clear parts look really nice in the bags, but we'll get these out in a minute. Um, here's another clear sprue. This looks like some kind of a, maybe the waist counter position. Um, another clear window, some other small windows. <clears throat> Decal sheet. Um, two options as we saw in the box. Um, here's some photo etch belts, a couple of, uh, I guess vents, not sure what those bottom pieces are, maybe some kind of a fuselage, uh, strengthener or something of that nature. And the instruction book, which is quite substantial. Um, give me a sec, we will flip right through this. Alright, so instruction booklet, uh, usual, like, blurb about the aircraft, some safety measures. Um, then we're in with a, I won't go through this step by step, but it looks like it's very much uh, done in CAD format. So as far as I can tell from a complete B-17 noob point of view, very clear and concise where stuff goes. 
using actual uh, parts to show locations. Um, marked out very clearly. Showing the fuselage going together. This is the nose. Nose piece going on. Um, tails fitting the turrets, fitting glass. Um, assembling more turrets, gear. Um, adding bits to the fuselage, the ball turret on the bottom, tail wheel. Um, excuse the language if I'm using the incorrect terminology. Wings going together, both wings, props, engines. Um, engines going on the wings, wings going on the fuselage, adding a couple more guns on top there, and the completed model. So here we have a very nice parts breakdown using actual scans of the parts or the layouts of the trees, so that's helpful. Um, decal sheet layout, um, small sheet, so I guess you probably wouldn't even need that to find everything. And the two schemes, so you got left and right views, top and bottom, and a close-up of the nose, which is quite useful. And also, close-up of the prop, the prop markings, color callouts, AK Interactive, Guns Mr. Hobby, and Tamiya. Uh, and here's the second scheme, same layout. Uh, very clear and concise instructions. And on the back, a very large paint chart, should you use, wish to use the called out colors or if you have any specific colors that you prefer. Um, yeah, okay. Um, next, I will look through the parts and we'll get those out and look at some close parts out of the bags. Um, so there's hopefully less reflection and they'll be a little bit easier to see. So we'll take a close up look at some of these uh, bigger parts and then we'll go into the smaller sprues. So as you'll see, there's a quite nice and sharp molded detail, um, different size rivets. Um, there are some ejector pin marks in these uh, flap wells. Not sure how visible those will be uh, when the flaps are installed, but that is to come. Um, I don't know how accurate most of the stuff is. I don't build World War II stuff, as those who will know me will undoubtedly realize. But uh, from what I do see, these look nicely molded, at least. Um, sharp, uh, different size rivets. Um, they don't fade um, as they get close to um, the edges of focus. As they get to the edges, uh, well, there's some fade, but um, easily cleaned up. But um, these uh, vents, maybe, um, molded hollow. <coughs> So here is the one of the fuselage halves. Again, um, some raised uh, stiffening plates, maybe. Um, opening for the crew hatch. Um, looks like a very beefy wing mounting, um, some kind of a wing mounting system. Um, recessed window cutout. Um, different size rivets again. Uh, not sure how accurate this is, just kind of presenting as I see it. The rudder is molded on, so if you want to um, pose it separately, you will have to do some cutting. But uh, the inside is surprisingly devoid of ejector pin marks in most of this ribbing, which is a very good thing to see. Um, lots of locating points, though these sprue attachment points will be kind of a pain in the ass to trim because they do come onto the mating surface but a nice set of flesh cutters should do the job well. <clears throat> um, all right, so let's see, what, a, what should we look at next? Oh, here's a, I didn't get this out, but this is uh, undoubtedly a piece of the cockpit bulkhead. You can see the molded detail. Um, some cabling, stiffening plates, uh, the um, down below all these uh, ga cages or Anyway, just busy detail, all very sharply molded. Um, no ejector pin marks visible. Um, instrument panel does look a little simplified. Um, I didn't see if there was detail for it. Um, I believe there is, um, but uh, I don't think this will be super visible either in the cockpit, so I wouldn't really worry about that. Um, props look nice. Um, I don't see any mold lines of the such on these. Um, cowlings are nice, single piece. Um, let's see, what else? Um, this is, uh, some of the engine pieces and machine guns. So, close above these machine guns, they look very nicely molded. Um, sharp. They're single piece, so no, um, 
gluing halves together. The bombs, however, are in halves, which should be fun to clean up. Um, the, I don't know what those are. Um, <clears throat> cow flaps look nice. Um, my one complaint might be that these engines do look a little bit simplified. Uh, I don't know how these necessarily are portrayed in other kits, but at least looking at um, some resin pieces online, I think that's the route that I might go for these. Um, but other than that, the machine gun barrels are also molded hollow. Or that's going to be hard to see. Let's see if I can get a better view on these. You'll have to take my word on it, they're molded hollow, or they have a hollow point, so that'll be nice. Um, most people will probably still go the aftermarket metal route, but it's nice to know that the kit comes that way. Um, tires are molded in halves um, with this pattern on top. Not sure if that's correct or not, but it is there. Um, wheels have a little bit of detail on the hubs. Uh, nice uh, D-shaped mounting point. The gear looks quite substantial and should be enough. You probably wouldn't need aftermarket gear for this. Um, all the cabling and such molded onto these is very sharp. Um, again, not commenting on accuracy, but the moldings are at least very nice. All right, here's a clear sprue. Um, I didn't get the other one out, but this one has the bigger pieces on it. So you'll note that the windscreen looks pretty nice. Um, I think showing my finger behind it, holding one, ah, the camera in here, pretty clear, minimal distortion. Um, I think in 48 scale, this is quite nice. Get you a close up look. You can see the cutting mat fairly well through that. There's a piece of hair on that. That's not a scratch. Um, the ball turret, or I don't know if that's a ball turret, but some kind of turret, um, side windows, little bit of distortion towards the edges, but um, I don't think you'd worry too much about that. This uh, rear window also has a little bit of distortion, but I don't think that's really going to, as I fumble, um, be a massive issue. Looks pretty nice. Um, that's about it. Um, let's take a look at the decals. Let me just get these out of the bag and uh, we'll come so back. on the back. decal bag, you get um, this little piece of photo etch, we'll, which we'll come back to, and this decal sheet, uh, cartograph printed um, for the two marking options. Um, straight off the bat, these look very glossy. Um, get a close up on the nose art um, for one option, and this is the nose art on the other option, both of which look very nicely done. Uh, prop markings, there's the uh, cockpit instruments, which um, probably needs some nice decal setter to get them to drop into those uh, instrument cutouts. But these decals, minimal carrier film, glossy. Um, some of you will probably choose to airbrush and spray these insignias, but um, I'm guessing these will probably go down with no issue if they behave like any other cartograph markings that have been used in the past. A little bit of sensor detail. Um, bomb markings, props we went over, that's about it. Um, nice decal sheet. Um, here is the little piece of photo etch. Um, very thin, very flexible. I could probably fold this in half just by sneezing on it, um, but looks very nice. Um, belts, um, again, there's some vents, uh, I don't know where those go, and some of those uh, other pieces on the edge there. But yeah, very nice. Um, so plan for this. Uh, I don't build World War II stuff, uh, but, um, yeah, this should be fun. Uh, I actually ordered a sheet of decals from Mike Grant, um, and they should be here soon. Um, but I will try and use a couple of these, probably the stars and bars, um, the instrument panel decals, and maybe some of the stenciling for the props, and I'll report back and see how they work, but I shouldn't, I don't really foresee an issue with those. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Facebook um, or apply this video and uh, I'll try to get to them and try to get your concerns addressed. Thanks for watching. See ya.